How do video games affect your brain? You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. We've heard the old warnings before, that video games can damage you, that gaming can impair your vision, lead to a loss of focus, and even make you more violent. But how many of these warnings are real? The answer might surprise you. Here's where it gets crazy. Gaming really does affect your brain, and these cognitive effects persist after you've stopped playing. The bad news first. These effects do differ depending upon the type of game you play, and violent games can have undesirable results. A study by the Indiana University of Medicine found that one week of violent gaming can lower activation in the left interior frontal lobe and the anterior cingulated cortex, areas responsible for controlling emotion and aggressive behavior. But the question here hinges more on the degree of these effects. How profoundly can video games change you? It's not all bad news. Cognitive researcher Daphne Bavale found that rather than diminishing all cognitive ability, regular gamers consistently do better than non-gamers in certain areas. Regular gamers can better differentiate between shades of gray, are more efficient multitaskers, and better at aspects of spatial reasoning. This researcher also notes that moderation is a key factor in gaming. Just as wine may have health benefits in smaller amounts and bad effects in binges, moderate gaming can improve aspects of cognition, while excessive gaming can have less positive results. Some benefits are self-evident. For example, no one would be surprised that games requiring teamwork cultivate cooperation skills, or that games may improve hand-eye coordination. So will playing thousands of hours worth of a violent first-person shooter turn you into an emotionless, aggressive killer with excellent tracking skills and no empathy? Probably not. And while the sensationalist warnings of some past blustering politicians may have garnered votes, they also oversimplified the issue. And world governments have certainly continued their research on the effects of video games, both good and bad. While we mentioned DARPA earlier, the U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command also works with gaming. Eventually, this command is hoping to build a completely immersive 3D environment for soldiers. Governments aren't the only forces leveraging the effects of gaming. Corporations and the medical industry are also exploring the potentials of games and not just as entertainment. Today, gaming principles are being used for simulations, rehabilitation, increasingly customized and unavoidable advertising, and more. But what, exactly? In some cases, it appears that's still the stuff they don't want you to know. At least, not yet. Tune in to learn more in the next episode.